got a very good arms. He didn't fall? Inconceivable! You keep using the word. I do not think it means what you think it means. My God, he's climbing. Whoever he is, he's obviously seen us with the princess and must therefore die. You carry her. We'll head straight for the Gilder frontier. Catch up when he's dead. If he falls, fine. If not, a sword. I'm going to do him left-handed. You know what a hurry we're in! Uh, the only way I can be satisfied. If I use my right, over too quickly. I'll have it your way. You be careful. People in masks cannot be trusted. I'm waiting! Hello there! Slow going? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but this is not as easy as it looks, so I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't distract me. Sorry. Thank you. I do not suppose you've got to speed things up. If you're in such a hurry, you could lower a rope or a tree branch or find something useful to do. I could do that. I have got some rope up here, but I do not think it would accept my help, since I am only waiting around to kill you. That does put a damper on our relationship. But I promise I will not kill you until you reach the top. That's very comforting, but I'm afraid you'll just have to wait. I hate waiting. I could give you my word as a Spaniard. No good. I've known too many Spaniards. Not there any way you trust me? Nothing comes to mind. I swear on the soul of my father, Domingo Montoya. You will reach the top alive. Throw me the rope. Until you're ready. Again, thank you. I do not mean to pry, but you don't by any chance happen to have six fingers on your right hand. Do you always begin conversations this way? My father was slaughtered by a six-fingered man. It was a great sword maker, my father. When the six-fingered man appeared and requests a special sword, my father took the job. He slept a year before he was done. I've never seen its equal. Six Finger Man returned and demanded it. But at one tenth his promised price. My father refused. Without a word, the Six Finger Man slashed him through the heart. I love my father. So naturally, I challenged his murderer to a duel. I failed. Six Finger Man lived me alive. But he gave me this. How old were you? I was 11 years old. When I was strong enough, I dedicated my life to the study of fencing. So the next time we meet, I will not fail. I will go up to the six-fingered man and say, Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You've done nothing but study swordplay. 
More pursuer than a study lately. You see, I cannot find him. It's been 20 years now I started to lose confidence. I just work for Ficina to pay the bills. It's not a lot of money in revenge. Well, I... I certainly hope you find him someday. You're ready, then? Whether I am or not, you've been more than fair. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. Back in. Bonetti's defense against me, huh? I thought it fitting, considering the rocky terrain. Naturally. You must expect me to attack with Capaferro. Naturally. But I find that Tibble cancels out Capaferro. Don't you? <laughs> Unless the enemy has a study, he's a gripper. <laughs> Which I have. You are wonderful. Thank you. I've worked hard to become so. I admitted you are better than I am. Then why are you smiling? Because I know something you don't know. And what is that? I am not left-handed. <laughs> You're amazing. I ought to be after 20 years. Oh, there's something I ought to tell you. Tell me. I'm not left-handed either. Consequence? I must know. Get used to disappointment. Okay. soon destroy a stained glass window as an artist like yourself. However, since I can't have you following me either. <clears throat> Please understand, I hold you in the highest respect. 